The request of Sister Mary of Christ, written after World War II, was actually a postscript of a request made ten years before that by Bishop Casimiro Liadoc, Bishop of Bacolod, for a foundation of Carmel in his diocese. However, that was not at God's hour for it. God's hour came in the setting of a province ravaged by war when, after the formal church approvals, Reverend Mother Mary Louise of the Holy Spirit, a French woman from Normandy who entered Graveny Carmel in 1920, was appointed to make the foundation. She was inspired to ask Doña Carmen Claparol's permission for the use of her house in the outskirts of Elisai. It was indeed God's appointed time because on the same day, Mrs. Claparols had an inspiration while at Mass to offer her house. Who would question that it was not a coincidence but by the design of God's own hand that his new Carmelite community in Negros would first establish their roots through the generous heart of a woman named Carmen a woman named after his lady of Mount Carmel in Hacienda Carmel. Arrangements were sealed and two months later, on December 17, Reverend Mother Mary Louise returned to Bacolod with Sister Mary Joanna of the Cross, whose chronicles provided the basis for the documentation and narratives of the early beginnings of Carmel of Bacolod and Sister Mary the pioneer extern sister of the foundation to supervise the remodeling and repair of the Claparol's house. Like the province scarred by war, the house too bore the marks of the war just ended. It was a house first occupied by the Japanese soldiers, then by the Americans, and finally by the Philippine army. The Higugid, katama, hindi mo na makita ang, ang salog, kagdasun, ang pintura. Uh, Umo na nga, makasiling ko nga daw na urut, ginamo na ang, tra, ang tanan na trapo sa bakulod para mag-review lang. Uh, ang iba ng mga bintana na padara sa river, ay dito, kwanan, hindi na mo makita ang pintura kung malibihan mo na. Wala ito ang mga buhi, ay kal kalubihan mo. Kalubihan, that's when at that time, hindi ka man kabakal mga sin, kundi mga corrugated nga nasunog na bala. In less than two months, the new home for Carmel and Negros was ready. On February 4, 1946, the first Mass was held at the Carmelites' new home, and by the end of February, two other nuns, Sister Mary Veronique, and Sister Mary Joseph arrived from Haro and the small Carmelite community of five was at last complete and ready to settle in its new home. The community was composed of Reverend Mother Mary Louise of the Holy Ghost, Marie Louise Le Chevalier, choir sister professed of perpetual vows from the Carmel of Haro 46 years of age. Sister Joanna of the Cross, Yuncia Aguilar, choir sister, professed of perpetual vows from the Carmel of Haro, 48 years of age. Sister Veronica of the Holy Face, Elba Halandoni, choir sister, professed of temporary vows from the Carmel of Haro, 33 years of age. Sister Mary Joseph, Carmen Mirasol, Choir postulant, 26 years of age, and Sister Maria of St. Joseph, Judith Gamboa, out sister professed of temporary vows from the Carmel of Haro, 24 years of age. Soon preparations for the inauguration of Carmel began with the extensive help of friends and benefactors and on May 13, 1946, Carmel of St. Joseph was officially incorporated into the Diocese of Bacolod. 
At his inaugural address, Bishop Liadoc explained the value of contemplative life and that Carmel, being a house of prayer and penance, is ever a powerhouse that can draw abundant graces and blessings for the diocese. A full 60 years of prayer, union with God on bended knees for graces and blessings of the people of a province, for the deepest sentiments at the bottom of their hearts. A full 60 years of life in union with a community of people of a province, bringing them before the Lord and Our Lady, bonding with them in prayer and thought and in love. A full 60 years of transformation of love into prayer and prayer into love. What really drew me to Carmel was a book. It was uh, a book by St. Therese. It's called A Story of a Soul. Uh, it really fascinated me because when I read it, it touched me in a way that because uh, I saw there this was one person who had discovered the tremendous love of God. And that drew me to, to become close to Carmel. I joined a community wherein the Carmelite spirituality is lived and taught. And um, after a few years, I realized that these things I have internalized and that um, I discovered the exciting thing that I have an interior life. It is here in Carmel that I grew spiritually and within the four walls of Carmel I can experience peace and serenity. There is a hole in the sky which directly links Bacolod Carmel to heaven. Gabalik-balik lang kayo sa Carmel tungod sa Japon dahil siguro nga Gugma, pagpalangga sa Diyos nga, sa mga madre, tapos ang pambit nila sa amon, 